So that's a little time for an update for the dish features, remote, stuff like that. I uh, just want to go through a couple of things. As you can see, this is a voice activated remote. Here's the voice activated button right here. All you have to do is press it and open Netflix. Kind of a nice little feature to have there. Um, to exit out of it, all you have to do is uh, the place that it says live TV you just ha and back button. You just have to press that once Netflix actually fully opens here. And I can exit back out of it. You just hold that button down. It'll say, do you want to exit Netflix? Yes. Um, so the, some of the buttons changed a little bit. There used to be like a co couple of different colors here. I think it was red, green, blue, and yellow to open a couple of different features. They've taken those away. Everything in, now is underneath the home button. So you can press the home button and that'll get you straight to pretty much the whole entire menu guide. Get a little closer here. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the actual home where you can see uh, my channels now, uh, it'll go to DVR, it'll give you some actual menu features for open the weather app, um, Netflix, you can go to your account, you can actually pay your bill on here, um, help center, different settings, um, it'll show you different things that are trending, on demand, um, what's on different channels that you typically watch more than others. Uh, we're not watching Maury or Judge Judy today. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, what else do they got going on here? Um, you can either press the arrow key all the way up to go over to the menu, or if you're already down here, these right and left arrows, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda hold this up here. Uh, if you push that, it'll actually switch on the very top so you don't have to scroll all the way to the top to do it. But it's got homes, shows, sports. It'll tell you what's currently on with whatever sports channels you have. I don't have a large package. Um, not a big TV watcher. But it's got a lot of different little features in here that you can go to. Um, so let's go ahead and go into the actual menu itself. In here you can adjust your settings for uh, prime time anytime. Turn it on or off. Um, I have mine set to off because I don't want to really watch the local channels. Um, trending now will show you what, uh, it used to be called what's hot. Um, but it'll show you all the stuff that's trending that people are watching currently. And I think it has a rating schedule. Let's wait for it to open up. So let's say you're bored. Uh, most people right now are currently watching the Olympics. Uh, let's make a deal, Dr. Oz, CNN News. This is basically showing you what the majority of America is watching. Um, over here, as you see this little, I guess, like cell phone bar thing, it'll show you as you go across how many people are actually watching it. So um, it does have down here... Movies, sports, drama, comedy. So it does separate it into genres, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and exit out of this one. Exit out. Just hit the back button. Um, you can go into prime time anytime. Turn that on. Here's your on demand. You can go to DVR through this option, but with the new voice remote, you actually have a button right here. DVR. It'll take you straight to your DVR menu, and I'll show you that in a minute here. Uh, you can go into your guide, Netflix, your account, apps, weather, settings, search. All these are in here. Home media, if you put pictures and stuff on here, I don't. Um, so really won't show you that feature. Uh, okay, so on the DVR button, all you have to do is press the DVR button once. It will actually pop up with your recordings. Um, from here, you can select and go through, see what you have on. Uh, pretty easy to use. It'll give you all your information over here of what the TV show is, uh, the length, how many stars it gets. Um, let's see. Going into it, I'm just going to go into one of the uh, actual shows so you can see how it lists everything out. So I'm going to go into Nightfall. Pretty decent show. As you can see, nice and easy. It'll tell you when you've rent, uh, 
when you've recorded it, when you watched it, what percentage is left. Um, this one recorded for some reason twice. I haven't watched the second one at all, so that's why it shows zero. Uh, let's say that you have watched something previously. Uh, let's see. Let me see something I was just watching. Getting a good laugh. I was watching Undercover Brother the other day. So, you can go in here. You can actually resume. And this works on any TV, wherever you're at in the home. Once it's on the DVR. And if you click on resume, it'll pop up with the menu and say resume from... I haven't watched it on other TVs, but if you have, it'll say what you've actually resumed it from other uh, other TVs. So it'll say living room TV, bedroom TV, whatever. Uh, let's see. You can go up here to the top, what you actually have set for scheduled recordings, any conflicts, uh, any timers that you have set, um, trash, I guess. I guess once you delete it, I think they stay in there for 24 hours. So we'll go back. Now we're in the DVR right now, so if you want to go back to live TV, again, this back button that says live TV under it, just hold that. It'll automatically switch you back to whatever channel you are currently watching. Um, the back button also does, I think it's a repeat... If you hit the back button, it'll show close, stop, record, episodes. Uh, let's see, the recall button. Instead of how it used to be, you just recall back and forth to one channel. With this set up with Dish, you can actually go back to that, or it'll pop up a menu on the bottom. The last amount, uh, I think six channels you've watched. So kind of nice there. Or you can flip back and forth what you're just watch uh, with your DVR. Um, if you do happen to have something recorded with commercials, you find something that we record from a normal non-HBO station. Uh, okay, Vikings is one of our favorite shows. So typically, obviously it starts early, these buttons down here, the forward and the back arrow. Forward will take you forward 30 seconds. Okay, let me get into the actual show. As you see over here, 30 seconds, if you keep clicking it, it'll go 2-3 minutes. It's really convenient for commercials because most commercial breaks are 3.5 to 5.5 minutes long. Uh, let me get, oh, hold on, let me get back to the actual start of the commercials show you how quickly that goes so once that commercial hits you would click this seven times which would put you at three and a half minutes show you how quickly it goes right back to the show that quick I clicked it too many times, but you get the idea. Uh, let's see, what other features are on here? Um, guide, got a nice easy guide button up here. Um, just like the video before, you can press the guide button twice. You can actually set it for favorite channels and multiple people throughout the house. Now this one just is going to show you what channels I actually watch. So FX, uh, ESPN, um, history, Netflix, the movie channels, and that's about it. And it will go right back that quick. You can set it to as many channels or as little channels as you want. If you want it, just one for the kids, uh, or sports, or whatever it is you want, you can set it to your actual favorite channel guide. Um, let's see. Obviously, the rest of it is self-explanatory. You have, you know, your, your regular buttons down here. Down here will these little triangle, two triangle, or two little diamonds next to each other. That will turn on your picture, or not your picture in picture, your closed captioning. Um, this other one over here, I don't know what it does. Let's find out. Um, that'll select recording stuff. Uh, I, 
So I want to select for recording options. Okay, that'll say recording, open the recording options. Um, I don't want to record this, but we'll just let it go. Oh, it's create a timer button. That's what it does. Um, I do not want to create a timer. Um, so I'm just going to put it for once. And that takes care of that. Um, I think, let's go ahead and go into the home. Real quick, I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Just going to show you the weather features. It's similar to what we saw previously on the first video. Uh, let's see, let's go into the weather app. Pop that open. You can minimize this to where you can still kind of see it over the channel too that you're actually watching. But this will go straight to your local weather. As you can see it's 28 degrees, nice and cold on a February day, gotta love it. Um, there is a little thing over here where it says minimize app. So you can, you can check your forecast, your hourly locations, you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. But if you hit minimize app, it'll just kind of cut around the actual TV screen itself. You can still watch your show while you're checking the, the weather wherever you want it to. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of that. Um, let's see. There are other apps on here. I don't really use a whole lot of them. But let's go into the other apps real quick. I'll try to make this about one or two more minutes long and then that's it. Just kind of give you an idea of the feature. Um, there's, you can use Pandora on here, Netflix, obviously, the the Weather Nation. Um, right now they have an Olympic app that popped up, Game Finder. You can use that. It's kind of a nice little sports tracker. You can see what games are all on in the sidebar here to the right. Uh, below will tell you what's going on. Uh, you can switch it by day. You can customize it to sport by highest rating. Um, as you can see, pretty much, you can select different sports, too, that you actually care about. There's not really much for sports going on right now. College, basketball. But when baseball and football is on, you can see a whole lot more. It'll list each of the individual teams and the ratings and everything like that. So kind of a nice another feature that Dish has on here. Um, again, with the voice activator remote real quick, I'll show you that. Um, I'm going to push it and say, go to HBO. Oh, hold on, I messed it up. Turn to HBO. That easy. You don't really even have to say it that loud. Um, change to ESPN. Turn the volume up by three. Uh, it must not be available yet. I, I haven't really used a whole, a whole lot. Or, if, like I said before, you can do... Open Netflix. And there you have it. So nice and easy. There's a, lot, a bunch of different little features on here. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But at least now you can see the uh, voice-activated remote. Very nice. They do come with every new dish order. So it's nothing special. You used to have to pay, I think, $25 for it. Not anymore. It is included with every single dish. So another selling point. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, everybody.